and welcome back to the Reaper. So just me and you guys today. It's a, uh, a review or a kind of a tactical review of the mission that we did on Monday. Now I didn't really want to do this. Um, you guys have kind of bullied me into it basically. Uh, so what it was was a um, is what we call an airquake session. Uh, airquake is slang for basically a quick fight without any tactics at all. Um, and so you see, you look, you've got a blue base here, you've got a red base there kind of 20, 30 miles apart, and everyone just takes off, flies into the middle, has a massive fight, and then as soon as they die, they just take off again, straight back into the fight, straight back into the fight, straight back into the fight. There's no tactics at all. It's pure just having a bit of fun, letting your hair down, a bit of relaxation, and also a bit of practice, because because of the amount of fighting going on, it's good practice, um, you know, for, 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 for being in combat and doing the dogfight. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to analyse exactly. There's going to be no point following the flying... Um, at least towards the dogfight because it's just going to be charging in, no one cares because as soon as you get shot down you just um, take off again, but this is what you want so I'm going to try and do it, uh, so I guess I'll just run it through, them. there's going to be hundreds of engagements, so I guess I'll just run it through, look for something particularly interesting that we might be able to learn something of, the flying isn't going to be because what I've said you know, because it's airquake no one's going to really be flying completely seriously as if it was in a proper tactical mission where if you die then you're dead so you've got to bear that in mind a bit we're going to be shooting missiles that we wouldn't normally shoot because in this in airquake it doesn't really matter you can shoot as many missiles as you want you can just go grab a new plane if you run out of missiles so bear that in mind um i'll, I'll uh, on the video and let's see what we can do so stand by as we all take off and up we go. We uh, so what planes are we using? Um, we had the option of essentially any planes. Um, we are limited to Fox short-range Fox two missiles. That is Sidewinders. That is R seventy threes. That is uh, the Mirage Magic kind of you know two three three mile missiles. So we all chose the same planes essentially, um, and that shows the. The, the how superior these planes are. We all chose either the Mirage 2000 or the um, Russian Sukhoi flanker. Um, that's because the Mirage is simply the best fighter down here. It's small, it's hard to see, it's fast, it retains its energy better than any other um, any other uh, modern fighter, and it's got decent modern uh, Sidewinder type missiles. Um, the other one is the flanker, that is for basically people that don't have the Mirage, because the Mirage costs 60 or 70 dollars, so it's a lot of money. Um, so the flanker is the next best thing, it carries missiles that are slightly better, the R-73, slightly better than the um, Mirage, um, but the flanker doesn't fly as well as the Mirage, it can't turn quite as well, it can't retain its energy as well, it can't go quite as fast. Uh, so the Mirage is the best, second best is the flanker, um, the next best would probably be the F-15, but no one on either side has chosen the F-15 because it's simply it's not a match down here um, in the mud, it can't turn with any of these fighters, it's mm, missile aiming isn't as good, um, so anyway, there you go. Sure people would disagree with me, but those are just the facts as we find them. So everyone's charge. Obviously, no one wants to charge across the coast here because you'll just be easy picking. So we charge into the mountains. This is the safest place for us. Uh, essentially, we want to keep nice and low. Or when we decide that we're under threat, nice and low. You want to keep a mountain between you and the hostiles. Now scroll that forward. Now there's no tactical flying here at all. It's all just charge, 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 like an old-fashioned battle. And we have combat. So Sherman's broken off from the group, it doesn't really matter, no one cares about tactics as such. Um, <laughs> Sherman flies straight into this guy, but I guess that mountain was in the way, so we didn't see him. Should have had line of sight ready, so should have seen him. Shows how confusing it is down here. And we had a few friendly fire incidents as well, which you can kind of expect in a way, because it's just so chaotic. And we did punish those people, we will be punished. Look at that, Sherman just merged with Sonic there. They didn't see each other, look at that. Both coming down a canyon almost hit each other's plane, literally 20 feet away from each other and at that point they're both like, oh shit, what do I do now? Sherman's got himself in a world of hurt no, they're just carrying on Sherman merges with Signore shows how crazy it is down here in these canyons, how hard it is to see people all these experienced guys just charging past each other anyway, nothing really of any interest there, so let's just speed up a little bit 
Odorosa, uh, he's the most experienced guy on our side. He usually plays for Reds. Reds always have the most experienced fighters on their side because they have less, you know, less guys usually. This is a 50-50, so this is um, equal amount. But so Odorosa came on our side, so he did easily the most killing. This is going to be a quite an interesting battle. Fortinero versus Odorosa, probably our two best dogfighters. Um, and let's set that up, shall we? See what happens. Here they come, head on, two miles. Can't see each other yet, there's a mountain in the way. One mile and merge. Missile out for another guy. And a dodge by Kilo Mike, very good. Uh, and these guys, look at that, these guys, Fort Nero and Udo, have realised they've merged and now it's a world of pain coming. There's probably other fights going on, but we can only look at once. Perfectly matched turns, Udo Rosa and Fort Nero. Fort Nero slightly further out, but goes for Cap. How dare you? How dare you shoot Cap down? Terrible thing. Terrible man. Um, and so, yeah, this is what I mean. There's no real tactic, because it's just find the guy in front of you at the time and shoot them down. Um, so it's a little bit silly. Uh, Rosa's found Wolf Shadow. Wolf Shadow's just flying up too high. Too high, sir. And you're hit. Got to keep low all the time. That's why I got shot. Fortinero's had a pop at Sly. God, this is... Uh... Don't know what to say. Lots of things going on. Fortinero shoots Sly down. Gonzalo's on someone's ass. Not shooting him for some reason. Go on, Gonzalo. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Gonzalo had a bit of a howler of a match. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Not going to do it. It's going to get shot. Hurry up. That was some dodgy flying. Signore. Let's just stalled his jet out. <laughs> Dickhead. 100 knots. That was stupid. And finally, Fort Nero comes into so here. It took all of those guys to try and kill Ello, and Fort Nero just came and did it. Shows the differences of skill levels here. Uh, uh, Udorosa's still alive, his experienced guy, so he went out a bit before coming back in, shot someone down. Um, look at all these reds. It's difficult having, um, sometimes it's worse having more teammates about because you're constantly just finding teammates. Um, the roast is gunning someone. Look at that. Look at this guy. He's on fire. But Fortinero is on his ass. When Fortinero is on your ass, you're in a world. Look at these two chasing each other around. They probably don't realise that they're friends. But Seth is on Fortinero. Seth should be firing, but he's not. I think he's quite new. Kilo Mike's coming in. Kilo Mike's found Udorosa. Uh got it. I had a ma I had a, mis a magic out. So you've got blue and red and red and blue. Udorosa with a beautiful yo-yo. Look at that. Oh, I've never seen that before. Uh, Seth's fired on Fort Nero. Fort Nero doesn't know what's coming. Pow, Fort Nero's down. Oh my goodness. Um, Udorosa's still alive, still dodging. Finally, uh, they took Udorosa down. Uh, Sherman's finally found the fight. And Seth is back in the fight. Absolute chaos. When you're in a cockpit, you don't see all these guys. Um, you very rarely see anyone. So you don't realise all this crap is going on. Uh, Signore had a shot. Took that guy down. Sherman. Had a shot at <laughs> Signore. He missed. <laughs> um, just slightly too much aspect. And Signore stalled again. He doesn't seem to be very good in the Mirage. He's still stalled out and he's a dead man. Look at that. He's going to drop out the sky now. Lucky to survive for that. Got to watch those snap turns. They can really put you in trouble. He's stalling out again. Look. Oh, Sherman is as well. These two these two just, just flying round. And, uh, ah, what was that? That was Signore shooting his own man. Let's just back that up a little bit. Now, that's not legal. Now, this is very important, and there's absolutely no excuse to do it in the Mirage or uh, the Flanker. They're both, they've both got onboard electronic automatic um, IFF, which means once they lock onto a bad guy, they tell you in the, in the cockpit of the aeroplane whether it's a goodie or a baddie. So there's no excuse. It's not like driving an old fighter where you, you, you have to use your eyes. This, all you have to do is just find a dot in the sky, lock onto it, which is really, really easy. 
press the button and it tells you whether it's a friendly or not. So Signore is just not bothered doing that or there's something else going on but I guess he's just not bothered. So it's just fired at Sonic here. And there is no excuse for that and this is why we punish friendly fire to stop things happening like this. Luckily Sonic saw the trail of that missile and has got out. Well done Sonic. Hopefully Signore is about to realise his error. No, luckily Sherman put him out of business before he shot at Sonic again. So that was... I don't know if it was a good fight or a bad fight. It was just a big fight with everything happening in the world. And then Sherman, you know... No one's really doing anything right or wrong. It's just there's so much in the sky that your tactics don't really matter. Which is why I don't like doing these videos for this type of thing. Don't know why Sonic's not shooting. He's probably maybe a problem with IFF, Kilo Mike. For some reason they're not shooting Sherman and they've just flown past him. No idea at all. Both of them have. Sherman realises he's in combat. It's still just pain. That is a oh, it's a beautiful break check by Sherman. That was a that was a bit of magic that was, so let's just go and see what he did there. So if you look at his uh, look at his speed, which I think is his true speed, um I won't bother setting it up properly. I think that's his true airspeed. Look, he's just stalled his mirrors completely there, as well as putting it in a barrel roll. So those two things, he's probably got his brakes and maybe even his wheels out as well. He's trying to, he realised these guys were behind him, so slowed down right the way down to 100 knots true. And these guys, not realising what is, not realizing what he's doing, not doesn't have his experience, just shoots straight past, and that immediately puts Sherman in the driver's seat, because he's behind them then. So it's just a classic brake check great work and they show him his burners back on accelerate stop popping missiles at these guys or guns or whatever he's got probably doesn't have any missiles yes he does just a shit shot so when you do these shots when when the hostile is a um, really high aspect like that when I say high aspect it means, it means it's moving fully left to right and it's close so so the the amount they're moving effectively essentially on your screen is very high from from right to left here and that upsets a missile makes it very hard for a missile to hit especially when it's close it's probably only less than a mile here so it's um it's not a possible shot but it is a little bit hard for a missile to do its job when it's facing such odds Ello's in now another sh shot i don't know why that didn't hit i mean the aspect again was quite high there he doesn't really look to be doing anything wrong. He maybe could have given that shot a little bit more lead. Um, but um, that's half a mile on a kind of medium uh, left, right to left aspect. So it's medium, so it's half right to left, it's half cold. So it should have been a hit really, but whatever. For some reason it didn't fire, it didn't track. In comes Sly, I think he's alive again. And actually, these two, I don't know what these two are doing. They probably just don't realise that the hostiles are about, so they're having a bit of trouble. And it is like that when you've got such a chaotic fight, you don't really, oh, Cap's coming back in, yay. Sherman's still chasing them round. Hello, oh, dearie me. Now, that is embarrassing. So, all this time, you know, everything's good, everything's under control, everything's great. But Ello just comes in and shoots his own man with guns. Now that's really bad because guns, if you get a gun to kill, you've got to be right next to a hostile, basically, you know, within a mile. So you can see the, the whites of their eyes. So Ello could see this guy, he saw what paint job he had. He could IFF him, it was all done electronically. There's literally no excuse other than laziness, just laziness and boredom, I suppose, that you'd go in and just shoot your friend. So that's sad, but it happened. Um, now the good side is um, we do have because we don't tolerate stuff like this in the reviews because it's um, just ridiculous. So we have punishments to set up. We have a scoreboard that gets refreshed every month and records every team kill. And once you get to three team kills in the month, you have to do a forfeit and public shaming. And unfortunately, um, Elo has reached three uh, this month in January 2018. So this next mission, which is tonight, he is going to have to do a public forfeit. Um, and that is to drum into people that you cannot go around dogfighting your own men and shooting them with guns. It's simply not acceptable. It's just, there is no excuse for it. So I suppose it's going to have a pop at Sherman now. Let's have a look. No. The board is off. Right. Um, Sherman's lost all situation awareness that that happened. And now he's revert... Oh, so what's happened is Sherman's um, 
with all that gunning and stuff, Sherman's cocked up, lost lost uh, awareness of where these are, God knows why, so he's turned in um, in front of them by accident, realises his error, slams on the brakes, look at his kind of 50 degrees alpha, slams on the brakes to let these guys shoot by again, and I get the feeling he's stalled it, He's put, yeah, he's asked too much of the aircraft this time. No, survived, amazing. Look at that, went down to like 70 knots and somehow survived. This, God, this aeroplane is so cheating. Look at that turn, nothing else can turn like that. So he's done this huge, he realises his cock up, done this huge brake check, um, stalled his aeroplane out completely, and these guys have fallen for it, so well done. Oh dear, hello's coming. No, they're okay. Right, and if, you, uh, if you're on a flanker, by the way, I should say, if you don't know how to IFF, just lock a target up, press the I button on your keyboard, and then it tells you on your HUD whether it's a friendly or not. It's as simple as that. One click. It's all it takes. Right, anyway, um, uh, let's scroll forward to the next one. Okay, so we've got Wolf Shadow there, is shooting at Cap. No one likes to see that, but let's analyse it anyway. Now, um, uh, yeah, so some pretty crap shooting here, basically, which I wouldn't expect from Wolf, but... Uh, so he is five miles away from Cap. Cap is flanking. They're both low. They're both average energy. So that missile basically can't go that far. It can't burn that far down here to hit Cap. You need to be within kind of two miles uh, to make that kind of shot, but we're at over five miles here, so it's just uh, completely pointless shooting. Um, let's see if it proves me wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Even an R73, which is extremely capable, was, and, well, unless I literally turn into it, which it looks like I'm going to do. No, it's fine. Uh, that was a... let's see what that shot was. So I guess there is some stuff to learn here. That was a 3.7 mile shot. It's still a little bit keen. Uh, it can hit me if I don't do anything. No, it can't even hit me then. Look, I've had a pop a, a Mirage, kind of two miles away. That's much more within the range of that R73. So notice that and learn from it. A five mile shot on cap doesn't hit. A 3.7 mile doesn't hit. There simply isn't enough burn length in that missile to go that far down here where the air is thick. If you're going to do a two mile shot like I'm doing on this guy, and this is exactly the same scenario, I'm going this way, this hostile is going left, right to left, but because I've waited to the correct time to fire, I can get a hit on this guy, and he's not turning into it or anything. He's turning away from it or anything, but he can still hit. So it, shows, it shows how important these fire distances are, and how you mustn't ignore them and just pump away at five miles. Uh, Wolf Shadow is thoroughly on Cap's ass here, which, which no one wants to see. Uros has uh, come in, he's seen me merge with him. Now that's a better shot. Now we're now we're a bit more realistic. It's a 1.4 mile shot on a cold target. Uh, I'm relatively low energy. Don't know why, that's bad of me. Um, and that is pretty much just about a kill. Yeah, that can kill me. So I say 2 miles for a Fox 2. Oh, and he's fired into a mountain. And it's 1.2 miles, that's definitely a kill. I can't escape that. It's still on rocket motor, still on rocket motor and power. I'm going too slow to survive it. So, so I guess there's some stuff to learn there. Um, is there any more fighting going on? There's going to be this guy now. So Uderos has probably heard the engines of this wolf shadow. Look at how he turns so quickly to identify him. Great to see. Uderos' energy is low, so he's got to get burners on. Straighten out a little, try and get his energy. No, he's going to take a shot. That's even better. So that is a one mile shot. Very little chance of surviving that. Although this guy has got energy on this side. Yep, okay. So that's a shot and essentially a kill. Um, also, I might have stood a chance if he'd um, um, fl uh, counter seen it and countermeasured, but it's a big bird that, that it's, uh, it's hard to manoeuvre that big flanker about. Um, it struggles to fight against these nimble little um, lightweight mirages. So that was a relatively easy kill for Rosa. Um These guys here are a little bit naughty. This is what we call base camping, coffee and signore. So they're shooting at us as we're taking off. Which is, is a little bit ungentlemanly, shall we say. Hopefully they'll uh, meet their end. No, coffee's in a flank range. Yeah, so this is a little bit silly, but you shouldn't do that. Men don't do that, boys do that. Uh, Uderosa's yet again in a, in a massive dogfight. 
it's, um, he really knows this Mirage well, which I don't like fighting against him. So he's popped over a peak, immediately someone right in his face, right, what do I do to my Mirage to get behind him? All I want to do is get behind him. Big pull. Try and keep that energy as much as possible. So look, he's, he's still 450 knots. And that is a one mile shot. Recall doesn't stand a chance there. Pow, beautiful. So the only way Recall could have survived that is if he'd seen that missile and was jinking, and you know, but the chances are you won't be seeing that missile with fire and fire. So Uderosa is clearing up at the moment, Uderosa and Sherman. Come on, we want to see Cap. These guys are all being naughty, look, they're all waiting for us to come out of our base. So I hope they will be punished. Right, the next load of fighting. Uderosa, Sherman versus Signore Fornero. Fornero's got a lovely flanking position here. Signore's going to be in trouble. He's flying straight into them. Uh, two mile shot from Fortunero. That is a dodgeable. Uh, maybe it was two and a half miles. And Uderosa looks like he scrubbed it. Signore's flying straight through. And power, Gonzalo. Gonzalo was too high. Bad flying. Um, it's an, uh, Sherman's another stall turn. Look, oh my god, it's going too fast now. So Sherman has just seen Signore at the last minute, he's seen that splash, he's gone, shit, right, let's turn. He's yanked back on the stick, and he's done what he's had to do. That guy's fired at that guy, that guy's fired at that guy, that guy's got hit. Now it's emerged between Sherman and Fortunero. Fortunero has the advantage, but he's retained too much speed. So there can be the case of retaining too much speed in a dogfight, which he's done here, and um, he's, he's put himself into scissors. If he had a brake checked around this turn, he could have slipped in behind him. But he's actually put himself in trouble now, not realizing how, how slow Sherman is. So keep as much energy in a dogfight as you can, but you've got to plan that not to get in front of your target, like it's happened here. And now it's a very hard job for Fortinero to get out of this. Sherman's struck, uh, really on his six. Sherman's stalled himself. No, they're both about the same. Look at that. They're getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. They're equal jets here, so Sherman knows he doesn't need to panic, just stay back. Oh, okay. Sherman's um, out of missiles, so he's on guns only. So this should be a pretty cool fight. Fortinero is dodging and squirming and doing everything he can to stay alive. He's called a buddy in to come and help him. Come on, Sherman, bag that mother. Spray, 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 spray. Look at this wiggling, wiggling from Fortinero. The more wiggling and the more rolling he can do, the more it puts the gun sight off of the Mirage. Ah, oh, that's a dangerous move. He's now trying to crash Sherman, and it's worked. That was an interesting move. Let's go and have a look. Oh, he stalled himself. He tried this amazing kind of... Um, um, Fortnite tried this amazing kind of brake check roll thing there, um, but it, he just lost air for... He, 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 uh, and he departed, and he crashed at the end of the day. So, But, you know, desperate measures were in desperate times. Um, yeah, everyone's favourite is Cap. Right, come on. Come on, Cap. Let's see this... Let's see this masterful dogfighter in action. Spots the target. I'm going to do it now. I don't want to turn too tight. Don't let me see you turn too tight. There, perfect. Notice how I managed to turn relatively tight, but I managed to keep some decent speed in the bird. I haven't got down to 200 knots or anything, so that's not too bad. I've kept my energy okay, just about. And uh, that's an okay missile. It's about a mile. That should hit him. No, nope, the countermeasures fooled it. Well done, Sonic. Another missile, and this is a kill shot. He was just starting to struggle by that point. And that's one in the bag for the cap. We like that. And one thing to notice, look how low I was. Canyon, 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 canyon. So it allowed me to get the, um, the 20 on the target. Okay, next, next, next. Okay, uh, Kilo Mike is too high, too high. Not flying in valleys, he's too high. And he's going to get shot by yellow. Same with Wolf, too high. Recall, too high. Everyone's too high. Got to be in the canyons. Look, down here, in the canyons. Uh, Ello uh, has shot at this guy. This guy shot at Ello. No, this guy shot at... I don't know who shot at. It isn't uh, no one. Uh, so that was a... Um, I won't bother doing the distances, but you can see that was just way too much from Ello. Asking much, much from Ello. Now, because these are modern fighters, you can tell exactly the range. It tells you the range. Um, that... What was that? Two and a half miles from a flanking target is just too much. And that target is fast. Asking too much of your missile. Don't bother. Just chase him, burners on, you'll catch him up. But this is what I was saying about we're not going to do realistic missile fighting, really, because we've, you know, got so many missiles because we can just respawn. Um, this guy is getting shot by our base sounds, which is good because it's very naughty for him to be shooting us on the ground, very ungentlemanlike. Stuff is occurring here. Right. 
let's see what happened. Uh, okay, Cap and Sly. So Sly is protecting Cap. Kilo Mike gets the drop on us. Missile, kind of two mile shot. A little bit ambitious on fast, cold targets. Remember, these are not AMRAMs. They don't, uh, not for long range missiles, they're short range missiles. So it's kind of two miles maximum um, on a cold target. One mile, he's dead. Pow, yep. Uh, just had the drop on him. Cap has done a stool turn. Don't know why I did that. I think I've I think I've seen seen what happened. Okay, this is not really advisable book flying, but I think I've seen that this guy's in a world of pain or heard it. I've seen this guy firing, and I've just done a big snap turn, just trying to pull as quickly as I can to get a shot on this guy. Probably not the best thing to do. It might have been better to do just a large radius turn. I've got the room here. I could have kept my energy up, and I would have caught him up quicker. But I've decided to do this, so let's see how it pans out for me. Slow, trying to get some energy back in the bird now. I've eased off. Burner's on. Just uh, put the... Okay, it's worked. I've done that snap turn. I've lost my energy, but I've kept my nose on the target. And I've got my nose on the target. I've always got a chance. Now the priority is getting energy back in the bird to get missiles out. That's kind of um, one and a half mile shot. A bit ambitious. Um, but again, I've got the missiles. I can use it. I've got energy back in the bird now. We're up to 400 knots. And now I'm clearly on this guy's six. And that's a kill shot at, you know, a mile or whatever. Pow. That's just not bad. It's good flying. Elo just ran straight into that. Sherman's chasing recoil down. That's good to see. Uh, Sherman's very patient, he's not like me, I shoot as soon as I can. Oh no, Cap, you're in trouble, sir. Pow, I'm out. Straight into the missile. Come on, Sherman, this is what happens if you don't kill them quick enough. And pew pew, pew pew, pew pew pew. Okay. I guess Sherman's out of missiles. And I don't know why he did such a fast merge there, the hostile wasn't where he was there. It was it was a bit silly by Sherman really coming coming in so fast, but uh, we've seen how to get out of that situation. Uh, so Sherman overshoots. It happens. It's annoying, but it does happen. Uh, so what's the best thing to do? Best thing now is to barrel roll. It allows you to keep your your burners on, but burn some energy off, and you slip in back behind the target. So that's perfect. Well done. And then he's on his ass again. He can now try again. His energy well down, but he will catch up eventually, especially with recall maneuvering. So let's fast forward that. It's back on his ass again. Both equal energy now. So Sherman, careful not to do the same thing again. So this is where, actually, believe it or not, things like flying in formation really help, which is why I drill it into them. And they always complain, don't want to do formation flying, don't want to do formation flying, it's boring, want to blow things up. No, I make them do the formation flying, and I always make them do the formation flying, because it's actually really bloody good. For if coming like this, this is kind of a weird, but it's essentially formation flying. You're matching your speed with the hostile all the time, just like formation flying. You're you're you're, you're watching. You know, his, this is really this is, look at look how close his trail is to the other guy, and they're rolling around each other. Sherman's just keeping low enough, uh, just seems slow enough. If I was recall, do a brake check, and there you saw it, brake check, but Sherman got taken out. So what we call there today is just yank back on the stick, took as much energy out of the bird as he can, hope Sherman would fly past him. May or may not have worked, don't know. Udorosa, the king of the blues. Expect him to wipe these suckers out pretty easily. He's got the... no, it's head on. Lovely missile in the face there. So that shows how this missile, these head-on missiles can miss. Um, I mean, there's just relatively decent missiles and magic. Um, it's head on, but we've got a f a the hostile is hot, and that means the the hot part of the plane is out the back there, uh, so it's a bit harder for that missile to to track. Also, they're moving relatively fast, kind of left to right. We've talked about this. this it's kind of hard for a missile to get a close left to right. Um, if playing in real time, look how fast that is. It's hard for that missile just to get its act together in time to get that shot. So it's got to do work. Look at that, it's had to pound out to the right and it got confused and went for that guy in. So it, it is missable. And um, that was a bit of a snapshot. He came over the mountain, just saw them, locked them. And, and we've got a high yo-yo here from Uda Rosa. So he's got he's seen his target. He wants to get up and on the guy's top. Uh, so it's, it's high yo yo which is the quickest way of turning around. And, well... Yep, as simple as that, really. This guy just never saw it coming. So that's a uh, masterclass there from Mr. Blue. 
Who else is up? No one, no one. So let's scroll that forward. Just people flying around each other. Oh, here comes Cap, everyone's favourite. Oh no, this isn't going to end well, is it? Cap's flying. I mean, it's low flying. That is low flying. It's not. I'm not above the mountains. It's just unlucky that Fort Nero, the mother, um, just happened to be in the area at the same time. Two fights to watch. Come on, Cap, do something amazing. I am energy high. I've got that on my side. Keep your energy high, man, and you'll survive this. 700 knots from the cap. 710 knots. We can do this. Can't catch up, you poxy little mirage. Odorosa's out of missiles. He's got into a gunfight with coffee. Um, so that's an interesting fight. It's a, f it's a mirage on the rear. A lightweight mirage versus a lightweight flanker. Mirage in the rear. Probably a mirage's game, I'd say that is. The flanker's good. It's by no means crap down here. But a mirage is exceptional. Oh, and I've just burnt all my speed off. You see, I did something wrong. I took my burners off for a second. This guy saw it. And he's just going to long bomb a ma uh, a uh, magic on me. I did see it. Ah, uh, but I didn't dodge it. I was, I was a bit of a fool to my own game there. I didn't do enough work dodging. I should have put more G in there. And um, that's me toast. I can't really get out of this now. Yep, that's fair enough. Um, what's been going on over here? It's a lovely little fight by the looks of it. So, uh, a missile dodge. How did he dodge that missile? So in comes the rose, that's a one mile shot. That should be a kill shot. There should be no it's just gone straight past him. The missile was a dud or something, it just it just had an error with the missile. It should have been a killer all day. Coffee realizes there's problems going on. He is he's banked right, he's put some countermeasures out. Uderose is closing in, don't overspeed. Uderose's air brakes on or whatever, he's just burning his speed off enough, and now he's in a perfect pursuit. Now he's just got to close him in, so this is almost like the formation flying bit. He's got to close him in, judge the guy's speed by eye, close in to guns range. Which he's doing, look, it's just a few knots, tens of knots faster. And very hard for Coffee to do anything about this now. You can try a brake check, it may or may not work. Coffee's going high, I hate going high, it's usually the end of someone, and it was in this case. Especially you've got a big heavy 25 ton flanker there, versus like a 12 ton mirage you know, you don't want to be up here if it's fighting gravity um, and I hope I won't see myself making that error uh, fingers crossed I won't uh, recoil took a pop on this guy, it was too close it was too close, that mirror didn't that, I don't think that missile got a chance to activate that's 2,000 feet 1,500 feet against, you know against this guy who was pulling hard it, it, the missile just never really got a chance so it's all fair and level now and Uderosa has won this by just going slowly. I always say don't go slow, but, but with that big brake check there, he's allowed Red to slip by. And now it's Blue's game to lose. Uh, it's going to be more guns, guns, guns action, I believe. This guy's unstoppable. It's just, it's, it's all about, in this case, especially with the guns, judging the hostile speed and then putting your speed below them to fall in behind them and then fly, just fly in formation with the guy until you're close enough for a shot and that was perfect judge your speed all the way around it's really easy to get that speed wrong because you know you have to do it by eye and experience it's, and then he's flown with formation all the way around until he's chosen the right time and he doesn't know see this guy coming up behind him uh, Fort Nero is um, and Fort Nero did it there um, he judged the guy's speed he closed at just the right rate flew in formation with red with, red, with blue and took him down so it's got some lovely action it's lovely to see such um, good quality flying going on. We don't get to see good quality flying that often, so it's nice. Here come a bunch of blues powering their way forward. We've got Cap here, Sherm, Cap and Sherman, the dream team. They're a little bit too high for my liking. Get your asses down in the grass or you're going to get shot. Sherman is upset. He didn't like what he saw. and He's turned around. Cap sees Sherman Looks like we've looks like we're a wingman pair at the moment. So I'm protecting Sherman. That's my job is to go slightly higher than him. Just make sure I don't see any missiles coming down. It makes me a bit more of a target by doing by doing this when we're in a wingman pair. So Sherman also has to keep an eye on me. Doesn't look like we're gonna see each other here. Yes he does. Cap seen him. Look at that. No cocking about. Right. 
Cup sees him at the corner of his eye, slams his burners on, and pull. Oh dear, because Signora is coming in. So, I've done a full 180 degree turn. I've maintained 400 knots of energy in the bird. This is great. I'm not sure how this is going to work. So that's a kind of two mile shot. It's slightly ambitious of me there. Uh, but if he turns into it, he can get a kill. Yes, look at that cap. What a legend. Finishes off his dead body just to make sure. But all that's happening, uh, Signoris found me. Missed. Lucky from cap. These uh, magic missiles from these uh, mirages don't seem to be as good as the R73s. From Cap has no idea that I'm in trouble. You see, I'm not going that fast. And I'm in a world of pain. Lost situational awareness. I'm just flying back home safely. And poo. Dead. Fair enough. Static. Why you'd be up there, I don't know. See, the only reason you'd be up here is if you had big, long-range uh, AMRAMs or big missiles to drop down on people. But otherwise, it just makes you a dead man. So it's pointless. We will know that Signora is about to run into Udorosa. This is only going to go one way. Some missile outs, head on shots, three miles. It might just reach him, especially if he flies into it. He's dodged it. He's got a magic out himself. Reverse. Well done, Signore. Lovely show there. So he got a shot at. This guy just thought he was dead by that point. Signore dodged it straight onto the aggressor. One and a half miles. Took him out, a relatively decent aspect, well done. Elo just didn't, wasn't concentrating on that, and so he's got, he's got himself in trouble. He's going to get shot down now by Signore. Slides just hard to being, I imagine. Missile out. The missile never locked. Don't know why, it just never, it decided it couldn't beat that turn from Elo, so it just never never carried on. Elo is now in a dogfight. Now is God get energy in the bird he's lost all his energy look in front you can't afford to do that and he was just worn down so it was just kind of bad dog fighting from the front man in that case you've got to keep fast um, or if you're going to brake check it's got to be a you know full on pull brake check you can't just slowly burn speed over several corners it's not going to go well ok Signora's made it out that was a lovely run from him Static looks the intercept stat is way too high as you're gonna get shot down. Look I'm just causing a distraction that we all go for static thinking it's just a hostile. Okay. More action. Sonic's coming in, he's in a flanker now. Uh Sherman's a little bit high for my liking. Um but he's got control of the situation. That's kind of two and a half, three mile shot. This guy had to run into it for it to be a kill. He did. Didn't just didn't see it coming. Lovely kill from Sherman. Static still flying vertical high. Can't understand what it's all about. Lovely roller coastering, but okay. Sherman's now on the back foot a little bit because recoil is homing in for a kill here, and that is a missile out. Two miles. Sherman's dead mat. No, into the mountain. And here we go. So Sherman was just low enough. Ah, but then yeah, recoil was homing in. Sly might. No, Sly's lost situational awareness completely. Cap. Everyone's favourite. No, don't fly along like a dummy at low speed. What are you doing? You're going to get shot. No, 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 no. This isn't going to end well. That's a missile out on Cap. No speed in the bird, and I'm dead. Or I've been very lucky. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm panicking. No, I think that's me out. Static still up here. No, I'm determined to carry on. Even though I've got one engine or whatever. I've popped a missile out of him. Oh, what happened there? Let's just try that again. So Elo comes in to, to help out. Head on, gets a face full of recoil missile. They the fight at each other, that's pretty awesome. Uh, recoil did a jink. Recoil did a jink. Look at that, it sees Elo's missile, just a chink. So it, did, it wasn't a huge amount of manoeuvre, but just put some back stick in there, put some roll, put some countermeasures, and that was enough to beat him. Uh, that's Cap's missile, so I'm somehow still surviving. I've got managed to get energy back in the bird, so I'm very lucky to be alive. And I've done a long bomb, two miles, managed to take him out. That was pretty, um, okay, well I've redeemed myself at least. And the boys are all back in town.
and off we go to do some more fighting. No one else is about, are they? No. Lots of parachutes about. There's a big bunch of us all together. It's often a bad thing in this kind of um, airquake because. Okay, plus side, only one team kill I've seen so far. Right, static. Straight into someone's missile. Had no idea. Just wasn't looking. Dead. Or will be dead soon. Here comes Cap and Sly. So we've got a relatively slow Sonic here, who's a bit out of, bit out of, um, out of sorts here. He's a little high because he's just got that kill. Cap being a bit of a plonk, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Sly's in the... Oh dear. Sly was too high. You go too high, you will get shot. Does Cap realise what's happened? No, I just carry on. Okay, let's run that forward. Oh dearie me. What's happened here? Like I said earlier, there's no excuse for friendly fire here. It's all automated, so Kilo Mike's just seen something flaring and just shot at it. He hasn't asked questions of the thing, and he's just shot his buddy down. It's the worst thing you can do. Um, so he's gone on the sheep for that, and he gets his, he'll get his due punishment. As well as that, it's allowed Uderosa to come and attack him. Pow. It's just, uh, yep. So Cap and Uderosa, nice little dream team going on here. I'm linking up with Uderosa. Oh, this ends badly, as I recall. I'm I'm covering him. Makes me a little bit of a target, but and I've got a missile out on me. Come on, Cap, get low, get low, dodge it, dodge it. Yep, I'm low enough to dodge that. But one of these is going to find its way over the mountain. And that's going to be that one. Pow! How annoying. Yeah, yeah. And then they just fly off. Ah, oh, events have been occurring here. Let's see what happened. Something happened here. What's happening here? Sherman and Ello have found something. Speed that up. I think they just found each other, panicked, and then they realised they were friendly. That's all I can think that is. Jesus, Elo almost stacked it. And um, while they were pissing around with each other, a baddies, a real baddie's coming. And he's going to shoot them. They're not concentrating. Look, they've burnt all their energy off. They're just... I don't know what they're doing. There must be something there that we can't see for some reason. And in comes a real baddie. And missiles away. These guys are doomed. Sherman's out. Lovely little dodge there. He saw it coming, but no chance. Elo should have been on that like a whippet, but he's not seen it. He's gone their separate ways. Static's still up, right up there. So weird. And it's all kicking off again. Uderos has found recall. Sonic's found Uderos. So Fort Nero is coming in. Um, to find Ello. Ello is nice and low though, so it's safe at the moment at least. Cap's coming back in. Run that through. There's a nice little fight going on here. So Sonic, I don't know, these guys shouldn't be able to see each other. That guy's in the canyon. So I think that's just coincident. Ello's turned out of his um, out of his canyon and it's made himself visible, I imagine, to this guy. No, maybe not. Okay, Uderosa just always seems to place himself behind hostiles. I don't know how he does it. Through this canyon, again, just places himself behind this flanker somehow. And nice easy shot. Doesn't panic. Waits for the right moment and compels her. Oh, he's missed. But missed again. What the hell? Sonic hasn't even dodged. Okay, that was just a bit weird. Oh my god, I think we might have shot... I think I might have shot Odorosa there. Okay, let's have a look at that. I've coming in to save the day. is struggling. I'm, mm, it's hard to tell. I might have shot my friend there. No, I don't think... No, I think I shot a red. But because it was such a shit shot, I think that missile just never engaged and just went straight forward. Good. Oh, more fighting over here now. Stand by. 
Okay, so let's see. So we've got... <clears throat> so Sonic's up here. Sorry, Static. I don't think Static really gets the idea of what we're trying to achieve here. So she's going up high, like we do in BVR. And she's shot a, you know, a, a 10 mile missile out, even though that missile will only go 2 miles. It's trying to, you know, I don't think she understands what this is all about. So, you've got to be in close and you've got to be window to window with a hostile, not up trying to long bomb 10 mile shots on them. So, well. <clears throat> uh, Elo, meantime, was just spinning around in circles, I think. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. Elo is, turns that way. Then turns that way, flares, then turns that way, then turns that way. That was just spinning around in circles and it's stalled. Luckily, he didn't kill himself, so that was some indec a lot of indecision going on there. <coughs> what else have we got going on? Fortnite Rose is looking for baddies. Um, where did the missile come from? That was from Sonic, but it didn't hit anyone. And Fortner has found himself with six blues around him. And Sonic, who's up really high and is going to get shot down again. You can't just keep flying up in the sky like this. I'd be amazed if she even got a single kill. Being up so high is, is the worst thing you can do. And obviously, you know, it's only going to end one way. Right, lovely finding. Let's carry on. <laughs> Looks like we're all chasing for the narrow. We've got a sniff of him. Bad thing about chasing someone on an airquake map is like that is that it gives someone else a chance to come in. So Kilo Mike coming in. Hello, <laughs> it's Cap leading the brigade of four men. Nice easy pickings for um, this Mirage. I think that guy was shown was just slightly too low and it fooled that missile, or it was going for the wrong. No, it was going for this guy. Look, yeah, firing too far away. Probably too far away again. Got to get your ranges right. Can't fire from five miles. So, look, the missile burn length was so short, it had no chance of catching him up. Fortin Arrow is going to do the job, though. Pow. Down. Okay, that's easily dispatched. Now it's now it's Sherman, Cap, and Elo. Uh, Elo is my wingman. Just a note here for Elo. If you're going to be your wingman, don't be right on my ass. You'll actually make things worse. Be half a mile back. Be back here. Otherwise, you're just essentially making us a bigger target and not giving me any actual overwatch. So that's something to think about. Uh, right, Sherman with his Hawkeyes, his third world Hawkeyes, we've got straight in there. Okay, hang on, events are occurring, I can't get it. So Sherman's going for... Sherman's going for Fort Nero, he's got a lock, uh, he's got, a, got his eyes on him, he wants to go for him. Cap, has seen actions happening. Cap, I've been looking in my back of my cop, I've seen actions happening. I've done a snap pull back. I've got to burn off a little bit too much speed for my like, and we're below 300 knots now, which I don't like to do. However, that said, I've got a face of a mountain there, so I don't think I had much choice. Um, and I've snapped back, and it's going to be a it's going to be a two two mile snapshot. Probably not going to hit. Got a low energy snapshot coming in, and it yeah, is 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 enough to dodge and merge. Me too, and these two wingman pair merge. Elo's snapping right back, wants to go after this guy, wants his nose on him. Energy low. I'm trying to get energy in the bird now. I've seen my quarry, I can see he's not turning that hard. Um, so I'm concentrating. Well, no, I'm not actually. I'm just I'm just trying to keep my nose on You see what a wiggling round I'm doing? That's my plane struggling to keep its nose on this red guy. And meanwhile, Elo um, is in control of this, just, just about. He should be shooting by now, really. Oh, and we're, we're tightening the corkscrew here. Fort Nero's just getting his nose around in front of me. That's a slightly more manoeuvrable plane. But he's down to 180 knots. He's trying to get a snapshot on Cap. Cap's having none of it. These guys are fighting up here. I'm just maintaining my energy now. I don't want to go less than kind of high 200s. Another guy comes in. Sonic Dust. Elo's cocked up. He's overshot Kilo Mike. Kilo Mike's done a break check. We're still circle of death. Fort Nero's getting a tiny bit. Okay. So at this point, we can start analysing and seeing what's going on. Neither of us have really got a lead. You know, the further you are around the circle, the more lead you've got. You could say maybe Fort Nero's got a tiny bit of lead. Um, but he's starting to get energy back in his bird. I'm losing energy trying to maintain this, this, this death spiral. And that's because it's just a lighter, more manoeuvrable plane at this kind of speed. The big heavy flanker is starting to struggle. And I'm shouting, help me, help me. Come and show me, come and help me. I can't keep this death spiral up forever. I'm eventually going to lose the energy war. Um, what happened up here? Well, I'll maybe analyse that in a second. But So a lovely little spiral here. Something's got to give. Because I'm running out of energy. I'm down 200 knots. Ow, Sherman's come in, fired 
too just too late and this guy was too far aspect now look how i'm really starting to lose the battle now big heavy flankers really struggling now why don't we go and um uh, set it up and look at some angles uh, it's a really good demonstration of two really stubborn dogfighters here neither of them are going to give up neither of them are going to uh, uh, go for energy they're both just going to pull back on that stick as long as they can so let's run this through so let's, we've just come into the fight we're both at 300 knots there about true speed um, let's check out uh, with oh wow um, now interesting to say at this point that the Mirage is at 7 8 G caps only at 4 G the Mirage is at 30 degrees alpha um, the flank is only half of that, 17 degrees alpha. So it shows how much better this fighter is here. This this uh, Mirage is handling this alpha so much better than the big heavy flanker. Let's run that through a bit. Do another rotation. Fortnite is rightly losing speed because it's such a crazy alpha. Look, caps maintaining a decent 18 degrees of alpha so I'm letting my plane breathe a bit um, a flanker can handle even an F-15 can handle 18 degrees of alpha okay and just about maintain speed I'm, I've got a 4.2 G that's not too bad on my pilot um, Fort Nero, because he's lost his speed he's got no more G you can't put G into the plane if you don't have speed but he's maintaining his alpha over 30 degrees that would kill any other plane any other plane the mirage being a bit of a freak plane can just about handle these high these high alphas uh, so he's got his stick fully back right now I can't do that in a flanker if I did that in the flanker I'm going right down to 150 knots and I'm in trouble so I've got a bit more of a sensible game he's got more of an aggressive game but I think his bird can handle it a bit better there see so I'm up to 20 degrees alpha he's 30 I'm still pulling more G let's stop it there I'm still 4G, I'm 21 degrees alpha, that's just in the limits of the flanker. You're going to start scrubbing a little bit of speed at 20, 21 degrees alpha. The, um, the Fortinero, after it's a stupidly tight turn, um, is um, 24, so he's easing off. So we're both settling into a pattern now of um, trying to keep our plane on the edge, but not stalling. So it's both going to be around 20 to 25 degrees alpha, about 3 to 4G. Um, and we're probably going to slowly both be burning down speed because, you know, conservation of energy and, all, and whatnot. And we're both staring at the top of our canopy, staring at each other, um, judging. Are you doing that so you can judge? Is the guy getting ahead of me in the turn? Is the guy getting behind of me in the turn? Have, is a piece of scenery coming up where I can maybe make a break for it? I don't want to be in this dogfight. I want to be escaping and calling my buddies in. Um, so he's slightly ahead. I think he's got the better bird for this, so he's going to sneak ahead. So the snapshot there, cap is 27, so I'm starting to panic a bit, I'm starting to pull them back on my stick now. I'm up to 27 degrees alpha, which is above really what the flanker's happy with. Um, G is going down, because speed is going down, down 240 knots. Uh, Fort is getting a bit more happy now, he's down to 22 degrees alpha, 3G. Uh, so that's right in the stride of the Mirage. So the Mirage will be picking up speed, the flanker will be burning off speed now. I'm turning, 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 turning. That's another quarter turn and it's freeze frame cap is panicking more i'm up to 29 degrees alpha now and this this alpha on a big bird like this it just stacks up and stacks up and stacks up and it's hard to get rid of it especially in f15 if this was an f15 i'd be dead by now it just stack up and i would just end up stalling out the sky and crashing essentially um well fiber why won't let me do that but you know i'll be dead basically i'll run out of speed um so the fort narrow is a bit more in you know he's a bit more loose here a bit more relaxed his, his alpha's better, my alpha's a little too high, I'm still going to be burning off speed, even with a, um, an empty flanker. Both full power, obviously, through this, you know, there's no reason not to have full power. Um, Sherman's coming, he's taking the shot, but look how much this uh, guy is turning. It, it is very confusing for a short mis mis missile to be able to predict where this guy is going and for it to actually get a lock on him. So it probably hasn't got a lock on him as such. It's probably just flown straight past him and given up. That's quite a likely thing to happen. Now, Fort Narrow's just done a Titan. So what he's done, he's, he's eased off around here and now he's decided he wants to go for extra pull. He's stick back and that translates in the numbers. Uh, we've got him right back to 36 degrees alpha. That is like, if I did that in a flanker, I would fall out of the sky. Crazy amount of alpha he's put on that jet there. I'm just slightly loosening, realizing that I'm losing this. I, I'm loosening it because I'm stalling. I'm down to 170 knots, and my plane's really starting to struggle now. Um, and he's almost by that was, by that pull, Fort has almost got a solution on me. Not quite. We're a little bit too close. What's going to happen next? 
and he's really winning he's really winning the turn war now he's got a better I don't think this tells us our turn rate anywhere our turn rate is the amount of degrees you can turn per second which is the most important thing here how many degrees can you get through per second uh, which is all about what this kind of these 90s 80s and 90s fighters are designed for maximizing degrees per second of turn rate um, so um, so Fortinero has stalled himself out by doing that snap turn to try and get that shot and he is now down right down there at 160 knots he's lost all of his G and he's going to have to ease off on the stick which you can see in the alpha here he's going to ease that right back to try and get some speed back in the bird so he's down to 20 caps back up to 27 I'm really trying to pull now I'm panicking I'm back up to 28 degrees I'm getting some circle back I'm getting some of the circle back or maybe not Fortinero has done another so we're both settling in nice here. Look, we're both settled at exactly the same 24 degrees. I've got a little more G because I've got a tiny bit more speed. So I've managed to get a tiny bit more speed in this last turn. And speed is life. So I can convert that into alpha into pull. Um, but the two happens. But the thing is, because of his superior turn rate, Fort Nero is like a oh, quarter of a way, 90 degrees lead on me. Someone comes in. Ah. And don't know what that happened there. I can say that Signore came in and shot his own man, but let's put that in super slow-mo. Try and run that through. Has Fortinero just crashed? There's, there came that missile. The missile missed. So, Signore came in, shot his own buddy. By pure luck, missed. Otherwise, he'd be going in the score sheet for that. And I think... No, it did hit him. It did hit Fortinero. One more time. He's not crashing, look, he's got distance above the ground. That missile came in. I think it was just a bit of lagged reaction there. He did kill for an arrow. Thank you very much, Signore, for killing your own friend. Reg, you suck. Uh, right, so that's another guy to go on the punishment sheet. So who's that so far? That's Signore. Someone else. Damn, I've forgotten. Who did that team kill at the beginning? It's Kilo Mike, wasn't it? It's Kilo Mike. And Ello. Right, so that's some more guys. <coughs> Uh, right, so I was calling Sherman in to help me, Fortinero was killing, calling Signore in, and we're straight back into another fight here. As soon as Fortinero, Fortinero is down, excuse me, the Sonic's lobbed an arsenal really, which is an amazing missile. Look at that thing it can do, it's just crazy. I'm well into dogfight mode at the moment, so I'm scanning the skies looking for anyone to take, take a snap at. Sherman's fired at this guy, but he was turning too tight, he was, he was flaring, and he managed to get out of it. What can Cap do now? Anyway, I'm just super slow-mo for some reason. Oh, Sherman's still turning himself back onto this guy. Is this guy going to see him, though? No, shoot at Cap. Cap, come on, let's see something from you. Don't just fucking run into this. Okay, I've seen that missile, and I flared like hell. I should have really been manoeuvring, but I just want out at this point. I'm ducking behind a mountain. Yes! Beautiful dodging there. That's... Oh, we like to see that. Masterclass. Dodge two missiles. Three missiles are dodged. Turn back into combat. And I'm safe. And Kilo Mike's down by Sherman, finally. And I've just moved to kill this guy, look. Oh, yeah. Me and Sherman are really cleaning up now. Look. Look. He's asked too much of his jet and Signor has crashed. Great flying from the cap. Now it's two on one. Cap just launches missiles in this guy's face and there's nothing he can do about it at that point. Full dogfight mode now. And that's the fight over. Blues win. Boom. Suck it up. Look at the trail from that fight. And one thing, I promised we were going to look at Ello's mistake, so let's go and do that. So, blah, 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 blah. So, Ello's... Ello sees the guy he wants. He, he does a stall turn, so rather than use keeping his energy and going out for a long turn, which is what we should really do, corner speed is very important, he's kind of, um, he's traded that to keep his nose on the target, um, which can be fine, um, nose on the target is always a good thing as well, um, so he's now straightened out, he's got a nice, good posture here, his speed is rising, he's got some energy, for t okay, he just did that, he turned the wrong way. Okay, he's only got himself to blame for that. And this guy's going to come in and shoot him. Great flying by Mike there, you see. He stalled him, Mike stalled himself out on purpose there. Breaks on, going into a kind of start of a barrel roll to get behind him, and he did. So that's a great turn by the Mirage. Uh, 
and spray and pray and yo's down. So loads to learn there. Right, anyway, that was the end of that fight. Anything else? This looks a bit of unfair. You got recall versus six blues. I think this is going to end very well for him. He's got himself in a tangle with Sherman, as people tend to do. Ello's wingman of Sherman, by the looks of things. Ello's put an R23 out, perfectly legitimate shot. Recall's jinked. Do you see that jink there? That little jink there confused the missile enough, because the missile always looks ahead of the target, predicts where the target's going. That jink was enough, although he didn't really change as aspect as such. It confused the missile, so it shows the power of a jink, which is essentially just a roll and a tiny bit of backstick. If in, but the timing has to be right, it's timing is everything on it. And the ability not to burn off speed. That's good. What the hell's Cap doing? I'm stalling out for some reason. Why have I just stalled out? Okay. I'm just mincing around it. Oh, I, I remember. Um, it's because I, I survived that last fight. I'm trying to get back, and my engine, I've got no engines. So I just die, obviously. Right, so. Actually, what happened here? I've forgotten. So there was a jink. He's got a. Just shot, a panic shot. And Ello finished him off. That's lovely shooting. Nothing. Ello uh, stacks right up in the sky. Is getting, she's going to get shot again. Blah, 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 blah. Fort and Arrow is in. Gets the underbelly of Adorosa. Adorosa somehow knows the missile's coming. I don't know how he knew that. Uh, it's going to run out of energy. I think it was just a little bit too fast. And this guy's 600 knots. He can dodge this if he knows it's coming. Does he know it's coming? No. Now, this shows the beauty of speed. Um, he hasn't really done anything to dodge that missile. And it was it was perfectly within kill parameters, that missile. It was like... Um, Whenever you're there, it's like one and a half miles, it's, it's a kill shot, but because it's so much speed, nearly 700 knots, he can just burn the rocket motor off that off that missile. And um, it shows why speed is so useful, and why you should have it and keep it. And I'm a bit guilty for that. And as well as that, he manages to shoot this guy down. Uh, it was a lovely shot. Um, so that's a great show. I'm just going to finish him up, but Fort Nero is going to take him down. Sonic, yeah, quite a nice little turn there to get away, but Udarosa, there's no getting there's no getting rid of him. And that's pretty gotta be a kill. It is. Wow, this guy's sucked up two missiles somehow. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray. Beautiful Udarosa ring. But uh, Fort Nero still turned his way in. Look, he's come, he's yo-yoed up high. He still turned his way in to, to try and get as much time as he can to get a shot in. But by doing that, he's but Ooh, the two greats now in a big fight. Now this is going to be interesting. Fort Nero has, by going slowly, managed to get behind him. And now it's going to be very hard for Udrosa to get away. He's got no energy left in the bucket. Look, he's 150 knots. What can, and he's, he's just crashed. So, yep. <laughs> and they both crashed. Okay. They just got so low. Their dogfight got so low and so slow. They run out of airfoil and that was the end of it. Yes, here comes the, here comes the fans' favourite. Powering in in his um, flanker. This guy, Killer Mike, just doesn't see it. Easy shot, easy kill, pal. One on the scoreboard. <laughs> that guy just cr crashed into the ground. Look, that was weird. Oh no no no! Something happened over here. Hello, going head to head with Signora. Who can get the shot off first? Essentially, come on, Hello, shoot him, shoot him. Don't flare, shoot him, shoot him. Good, well done, Hello. Yep, and it was just shows that a great flying by Signore there. Let's have a look at what we did. So they both fired at exactly the same time, pretty much. Wait, missiles out. They both fired at exactly the same time. One and a half miles. They both should be dead men. So how, and that's a better missile. The blue missile is a better missile than the red missile. So how does red win this? Well, let's have a look. Because, well, I don't actually know yet, but we're going to find... Okay, so both guys have put flares out pretty much simultaneously. That's great. That will help for those missiles. But Elo's path of travel is pretty much bang. You know, it doesn't really change much. There's very little deviation from that straight line vector. And that makes it really easy for that missile. Um, and he's also moving a little bit late. Uh, Signore does flares out. And it's speed is the important thing here. Let's go and have a look. Speed. Speed. Where are you? 
Let's have a look at this. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah I thought speed was going to be the player here. Uh, missiles out, stop. So, um, uh, Elo is at 400 knots, 420 knots. Signora is right the way at 700 or so knots. Um, that means any deviation that he pulls from this straight line vector towards where this missile is coming from is essentially amplified because the speed is high and this missile is going to always aim in front of this guy, remember. Uh, so as uh, Signore now does this um, 700 knot, relatively small, but 700 knot barrel roll, that's really going to confuse this missile because it's got to aim in front of him. Where's this guy going? He's, 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 his vector is constantly changing. It's got to look 700 knots in front of it. It's enough to fool that missile along with the countermeasures. And pow. And look. And look at the difference of angle that they got from the kind of um, firing vector. So here, if we, the firing vector is from one plane to another, we would draw a straight line between them. Elo got almost no deviation, like like two meters deviation from that from that vector, closing vector. Signore got all of that deviation. That's hard to do in you know if you play it full full, full time from firing a missile. It's like one and a half seconds in, until they're merging. But Signore managed to get 700 knots and about 200 feet of deviation from from the you know from the closing vector, and it's enough to fool this missile. This missile can't maneuver quick enough to keep up with that kind of jink and it's a win there yeah, lovely big 300 feet 200 300 feet from that vector so it shows you can beat this missiles if you've got energy in the bag and you're jinking right your timing's got to be right on the jink as well as the actual movement anyone else going on Sly has just crashed into the ground, I see there. That's a bit silly. There's always a risk when you're doing these mountain fights. To survive, you've got to stay low to the ground. But to stay low to the ground, you risk running into the ground. So it's practice, 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 low flying. Sherman, a beautiful long bomber, Signore. He just didn't see it coming. Um, and look how he's got out as well. So back to base. It's um, good to tactical play if there's such a thing in this kind of match. Uderosa, the Kings going in head on head with recoil. Who can fire first effectively? They both fire. It's a double double KO. <laughs> Beautiful. Neither of them really did enough jink work or were going fast enough to dodge that missile. So it's pretty cool K double KO. Uh, Fortnero is going to put himself in a world of hurt. Ello's turned his belly and Fortinero's seen it. Ello's not done anything wrong there really, just in the wrong place, wrong time. Fairly long shot, but look how slow Ello is. This is why, you know, I keep saying you've got to have speed, it allows you to dodge missiles. 300 and something knots is not speed, you cannot dodge missiles with that. You can't convert it into turn and you can't outrun missiles. So that's why he died there. Sly's, I haven't seen much work from Sly, but he's getting him back into the game now. Cap seen his buddy die. I'm a bit too high, it's a bit naughty from me. There's a Sam going up for some reason. And Fortnite was running away uh, through the canyon like a sneaky little Argentinian. But we're having none of it. Absolutely none of it. Here we come. Here come the boys. Careful not to hit each other. When you've got two guys on one target, it's actually very easy to hit each other as we almost did there. You can focus completely on that. All other peripheries don't really matter anymore. So, um, you, I've often have it where we've run into each other. Um, not those, so um, I guess I, I guess a good thing to do would be communicate. Let one guy go for the attack and then cover that guy, but that requires brains and communication, which we don't have. Sly has done the better flying. It's kept on Fort Nero. It's communicated. He's told me where Fort Nero is going, so I managed to get back. Bad shot. Way too much aspect. You could see it. You could see it there. That was easily. Okay, here comes Cap. Cap's seen a snapshot, no, but Cap has seen the merge, and now Cap's on it, and I'm energy high, I'm 500 knots, okay, now I'm flying properly, nice bit, what the fuck, are you fucking serious, Sherman just shot me down, oh, Sherman, no, you're going to go in the books, son, that is Sherman, he just shot at me, simple as that, oh, dearie me, let me get my little notepad out, that is Sherman, Signore, Kilo, Elo. Well, I mean, I survived it at least, but I still called a team kill. Um, and what happened there? 
I've just gone. I've just, I've just got the better of him. Uh, essentially, I've turned around. That was a lovely big turn you saw there. Five hundred plus knots. That's how you should be doing it. Gives me lots of um, energy in the bag. Gives me, you know, I can do stuff with it, and um, end up winning that. So that's lovely. I think that's pretty much the end, Japs. So yeah, one more head to head. Sly versus Sly and Sherman versus Signore. Signore's energy high. Look at the differences here. Really, and it's nearly 700 knots again. Great flying by Signore. Sly is chilling out, relaxing, half assed and is down at 400 knots. And that gives Sly much more opportunity to do stuff and win this fight. He's missing out first. Okay, Sly just didn't see it coming, and that's obviously an easy kill. Oh, no, he did. Oh, look at that. I don't think Signore just... Uh, I think he did start jinking there, but he, the timing was wrong, and it was too late. So, okay, at least the missile came out. Sly... Sherm has stalled himself out. Oh dear, is that retribution for killing me? He has stalled himself out. No, it's still going. He's still going. Yeah, he survived. That that mirage can fly so slow, it's annoying. Caps back in the action, backing up uh, matey boy. Sherman. Here comes Adrosa. Blissfully unaware, these two. Adrosa's coming in, head to head. Lovely shot, energy high, doing it all right. Can he dodge it? Another double KO. Nope. Yep, so just enough in that big turn with those counter measures with the high speed to dodge that missile. Beautiful to see. Gavin Cap's wounded as I've lost my engine because Sherman shot me. Okay, that's the end of the track. The track doesn't go any further than that. A dogfight starts there. So, was there anything really to learn by that? Tactically, nothing really. Just stay low and hope for the best. And there's no formations or anything you can really do down here. You can kind of watch your buddy, but even that doesn't work out too well. Um, in regards to missile shooting, don't fire from a long way range. We've seen lots of people firing from five miles away. It's a waste of time. Don't fly up high. It's a real waste of time. Try and keep your energy in a dogfight, but make the decision between whether you want to have your nose on the target or you want to keep the energy in the plane and, and also terrain, terrain, terrain. A lot of these dogfights... Dogfights always go down, they never go up because of you know gravity. They suck you down, burn your energy off. So you always end up in a little cup of ground like this. So that's one of the things that was that was affecting this fight where you wouldn't have that over the sea. Over the sea you can go as far as you want, you can do big looping six hundred knot turns. Can't do that down here, haven't got the room. So this is one reason why you might choose to have a nose on target rather than a nice sweeping high energy turn. Um so you've got lots and lots of factors going on. Also you've got other planes coming from different directions, you've got communications very chaotic. All in all, some pretty top flying. There's some stupid mistakes and four team kills I've got to go and kick ass for, but some pretty cool flying. Anyway, we've got a big match coming up and I've got to get ready for it tonight. So many thanks and I'll see you later.